So in this video we will be talking about atomic spectra. Now the basic idea of atomic spectra is that say suppose this is your atom, this is your nucleus and this is your electrons. Now this electrons is revolving around this nucleus. Now there are different orbits of this electron. There are possible different orbits of this electron. Now sometimes what happens is that because if you supply energy, if you supply energy, if you supply energy, this electron gets excited. Excitation occurs. And because of this excitation, it gains energy and it moves to another orbit. This electron over here moves over here. Moves over here. So now, after the energy is removed, it will try to stabilize. Stabilize. It, it will try to stabilize itself by releasing energy. This is by releasing energy. By releasing energy. So now, if it release energy, that is, with the release of energy, it releases certain wavelength. That is, because it releases a certain wavelength, it releases a wave-like particle. Wave-like particle. Wave-like particle. And so, sometimes it it has a definite spectra because of its excitation if this goes over here and if it comes down back so it releases a particular wavelength lambda lambda 1 now if it comes down from 3 to 2 say suppose it's coming down from 3 to 2 it will release a particular wavelength lambda if it comes down from 5 to 2 say suppose 5 to 2 from its orbit 5 directly to 2 it will release another kind of wavelength that is lambda 1. So depending upon its orbit and depending upon how high it goes and it comes down a different wave or a different spectra which has a particular unique wavelength to itself is being released and this is the basic concept of atomic spectra or what you can understand as you have heard this is spectral lines. Now the f it was first discovered by Jacob Balmer and the Balmer series is given by 1 by lambda which is a wavelength is actually equal to r into 1 by 2 square minus 1 by n square. So this is the basic formula. The wavelength anything which comes to the second orbit anything which comes to the second orbit we have termed this as Balmer series and now this is your wavelength we know this is your wavelength let me name this this is your wavelength and this is your orbit where n can be from 3 4 anything so now what is r now r is actually a constant but what is this constant now this constant R is known as Rydberg's constant. Let me write this. This constant is known as Rydberg's constant. Rydberg's constant. And the value of R and the value of R is given as 1.097 into 10 to the power 10 to the power 7 meter inverse. So now so now if you take say suppose you now take n equals to 3 if you take n equals to 3 over here then your lambda please do the calculation r will be 1.097 to 10 to the power minus 7 i think in your examination on chemistry calculators will be allowed to do this particular calculation and even if the calculators are not allowed you will be given sufficient amount of time to do the multiplication so if I take n equals to 3, taking n equals to 3, I have my lambda which is equal to, lambda which is equal to 
656.3 nanometers nm now if you take n equals to 4 you will have say suppose if you take an n equals to 4 then you will have lambda is equal to 364 into 6 nanometers so slowly and steadily what you will see is the higher the energy difference the smaller is your wavelength we know energy equals to h nu therefore energy is equal to h upon lambda so h upon lambda if you say nu equals to lambda which is inverse of lambda then you can see that higher the energy less is your lambda and higher the wavelength less is your energy and that can be easily proved if from a greater orbit from a greater obviously from orbit 5 it comes down to orbit 2 high amount of energy is released so the lambda will be less <coughs> now the first series or you can say the balmer's formula is given by over here now in the later part different scientists discovered different lines and they named them after their names so let's look at some of the other spectral lines in our atomic spectra so we talked about balmer series where the excited electrons comes from n equals to say some orbit which is greater than 3 4 5 2 n equals to 2 now layman the scientist layman what he did was he he had the series for ultraviolet and his series was given as 1 by lambda equals to r upon 1 by 1 square minus 1 upon n square where n equals to 2 3 4 and this was for layman this is known as sorry i am writing this spelling a bit incorrect this is Lyman or Lehman, anything that you want to call Lyman's series. Lyman series. The second was Balmer that we had already discussed. Now comes your Paschen series. P A S C H E N series. And this series tells about the wavelength of this is Redbird's constant. This is 1 upon 3 square minus 1 upon n square, where n starts from. 4, 5, 6 and so on. Next comes your bracket series. This is bracket series. And this starts from r equals to 1 by 4 square. 1 by n square. And next comes your series fund series so fund series now this please silent so fund series is given by 1 by r into 1 by 5 square minus 1 by n square now this is for n equals to 5 6 7 here n equals to 6 7 and so on. so this are some of the known series that we know or some of the famous series that we know now it is also interesting to see that we had right we had given in our previous that energy equals to h nu therefore e equals to h now c equals to lambda into nu so in my previously in my previous slide what i have written is h nu that is h by lambda but we have not included the value of c now e is directly proportional to h upon lambda where e is inversely proportional to 1 upon lambda so now what we can see is that c equals to h nu therefore lambda is equal to or nu is equal to sorry this nu equals to c upon lambda so when we write energy e in terms of lambda we will say h c upon lambda this is what we 